Hello and thanks for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos for Acumatica 2021 R1, we're going to talk about a new dashboard improvement that's just come about. So on my screen here, you can see a dashboard where we have scorecards and we have charts, different types of charts. There's anything from a line graph to a bar chart, both horizontal and vertical. We have grids of information here. So this is data views. You can do pivot tables. And at the top of the screen, you can see I can add a parameter so I can filter by this information if I want to. This is a customer view, which makes sense. We have a filter for my customers here. But one of the new things you can do, if we click on design, design allows us to add a new widget and it also lets us change existing widgets. So over here for late orders, we have a quantity of 18. We have a quantity of 18 for orders to ship. This is a counter. When we click on it, Acumatica drills down to the relevant data and pulls it up and shows us. But if we go back to the customer view, when we go into design mode, this is what we call a scorecard. But we have the ability now to change this to a meter. So as a meter, we can say our normal level is 20, for example, and our alarm level is 40. And if we click finish here, We'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. You can see we now have a up to 20 is in the green area, up to 40 is yellow, and above 40 is red. So if we click on the design button and take a look at that a little closer, you can see we have a primary, a warning, and a red indicator for our alarm. So anything between 20 and below is our green, that's our primary. Anything between the two is a warning. And anything above 40 is our alarm color. So this can be very helpful to indicate information in a different manner. Now, if we were to take a look at our open opportunities, they're set for 151. So if we click on the pencil here and we choose maybe a meter, and now we wanna have an alarm level at a certain low point. So for example, maybe our alarm is 50 and our normal level is 200. So we have a green, a yellow, and a red here. And if we click finish and make this a little bit bigger, now you could see we're in the warning area because our normal is above 200. So this is really nice. And if we refresh the screen, you can see Acumatica does a nice slick animation to bring these values up to the correct reading. So that's one new change. The next change is if we click on design, we now have the ability to copy and paste widgets. So this can be very helpful because when we set up this information, maybe we want to take this widget right here, or maybe the new one we just created for open opportunities and move it to another view. So if we click on copy, and we'll get out of design mode. We'll go into our dashboards and we'll take a look at our sales operations. And here's our sales operation dashboard, but maybe we want to click on design and over here now we can paste from the clipboard. So we'll turn off design and now we've added that one widget easily from one dashboard to the other. Another new feature that was just added, click on design and we edit the widget we were just working on. We now have the ability to choose an inquiry field. So within all the fields that are in this inquiry screen, we can choose a value amount or the quantity one. So in this case, we were using one, which is fine, but we also could make our normal level based on the opportunity amount. But the other thing we can do is we can use a percentage. So between the normal and the alarm level, you can use a percent value off the other one, the alarm level. So in this case, if we chose 200%, 200% of the alarm level would bring us to a 100. So what this does is it gives you the ability to have flexibility. As conditions change with the business, 
the absolute value, which was the only option before, might not make sense. And you didn't want to go in there tinkering all the time to make changes. So in this case, you can now do it based on a percentage. You'll notice if I select percent here, percent is not available. If I go in and select an absolute value over here, then the percent value is shown here because you can't have both. The percentage needs to be based on one absolute value. Lastly, if we click on and add a new widget, we now have the ability to select a link. We'll click next on this. And now we're gonna choose an icon for the function that we're gonna do, something that represents it. And maybe what we wanna do is create a brand new opportunity. So we'll go over to the opportunity screen. And now we need to find out what is the parameter for creating a brand new opportunity. We don't wanna bring up a list of opportunities. In this case, we wanna create a brand new one. So if we go to another screen here and we click on opportunities, right over here, we have new opportunity. This is the action card for creating a brand new opportunity. You can see there's other options here and you can see there's other action cards here. But if I click on edit menu and I hover over this action card and I click the pencil, you can see here's the parameters that I'm looking for. Essentially, this is setting the opportunity ID to blank when I open up that opportunity screen. So I'll take this and I'll put it in the clipboard. I'll come back and I'll paste that. And our description will be and we'll use that as a caption as well and we'll click finish now we'll take ourselves out of design mode and now you have a nice button a nice link to somewhere else in acumatica to create a new opportunity so there you have it there are a few new features in our dashboards we have new meters. We have the ability to create a link. Our meters now have the ability to govern themselves based on a percentage instead of just the absolute value. So thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day.